Hi, and welcome to Paltex Tech Lightning. In this video, I will explore how virtual machines use the default outbound access for connecting to the internet. Now, this usually happens with OS updates and patches, but it can also be used for other connectivity activities. Let's make it clear. I'm only talking about outbound internet connectivity here. Now, having your infrastructure located in Azure, these are the most common options. You can use an Azure Firewall or Next Generation Firewall in the Hub Virtual Network for all outbound connectivity. You can use an existing on-premise internet breakout. You may already have all the infrastructure set up on-premise and will route all traffic there first. Or you can allow the VMs to directly make outbound internet connections. Virtual machines created in a virtual network without any extra setup for internet connectivity will use something called the default outbound access in Azure. Now, the default outbound means in practice that the virtual machines will be assigned an outbound IP address from Azure. You do not have any control over this IP address, which also may change during the lifecycle of the VM. Now, why is it not a good idea to use the default outbound access? Well, first of all, it's against the Zero Trust Network security principle, as not all VNets should be open for direct outbound internet access. Secondly, in case the VM makes many burst connections towards the internet, it may actually use up all the port allocation. This can result in failure for subsequent connections. One of the biggest problems with the default outbound access shows up when you deploy an internal load balancer. Setting up uh, virtual machines behind an internal load balancer does not allow them to access the internet without any other configuration. So for that setup, we actually have three ways to work around the problem. One, you can add a public IP address to the virtual machine instances. Well, it's a little bit counterproductive as it's an internal load balancer and no connectivity should be allowed from or to the outside. A better solution is to use an existing external load balancer for the outbound flow. It's more secure than uh, the first solution. However, the best solution, which is also officially recommended by Microsoft, is to use something called a NAT gateway. A NAT gateway, it simplifies the outbound internet connectivity for virtual networks. When configured on a subnet, all outbound connectivity use the VNet's NAT public IP addresses. With uh, NAT, individual VMs do not need a public IP address and they remain fully private. In addition, this service is actually fully managed and resilient to failures. Simply speaking, all you need to do is create a NAT gateway and assign it to the subnet. All resources in the subnet will then automatically use this gateway for outbound internet access. What about pricing? Well, it's not very expensive. You pay per hour of usage and data transfer. One month with 100 gigabytes of transfer will come close to $40. That's all for this week regarding outbound internet access in Azure. When you design solutions or need extensive connectivity towards the internet, consider using the NAT gateways. Until next time, take care and see you.